starting in 5 seconds sir the house would recall that when i introduced the constitution 64th amendment bill i had said that government intended to bring forward in the monsoon session major legislation relating to the urban local bodies we are now fulfilling that commitment already in common parlance the bill i introduced in the last session is called the panchayati raj bill and this the nagar palika bill allow me sir to use these familiar names rather than the somewhat difficult official titles the nagar palika bill supplements the panchayati raj bill the theme of this bill is the same as that of the other constitutional sanction for maximum democracy and maximum devolution even as we see the strengthening of the panchayati raj system as the key to eliminating the power brokers from the life of rural india so do we see that this bill as the key instrument for reducing and eventually eliminating the role of the power brokers in urban india we seek through these bills to vest powers in the only place where power rightfully belongs in a democracy in the hands of the people in the past few days we have been sad witness to the gravest assault on democracy since the founding of our republic the abandonment of the lok sabha by a section of the elected representatives of the people in the last general elections the people gave the congress an overwhelming mandate to govern the country for the 5 years in the same elections they returned a few opposition members to occupy the opposition benches for the same 5 years the members of the opposition were elected to fulfill the vital democratic function of contesting the government and its policies right here on the floor of this house not in the streets or in the columns of newspapers we respect those democratic and independent minded members of the opposition who are here with us today to democratically debate the issues of fundamental national importance which i shall be raising by the same token we must deplore the behavior of those other members of the opposition who have simply run away from this highest forum they have abused this noble institution they have violated their mandate they have betrayed their constituents they have eroded democracy itself why have they tried to destroy democracy in parliament i have no doubt that it is primarily because they could not bear to see democracy prosper here
the people will of course consign to the dustbin of history those who have resigned the seats to which they were elected to the present lok sabha yet this only increases the responsibility of those of us who have remained in this house to strengthen the foundations of our democracy democracy in parliament and in the state legislatures remains fragile so long as the roots of our democracy do not reach down to the villages and mohallas where the people live our constitution detailed the provision for democracy in parliament and in the state legislatures therefore democracy in these institutions has survived every vicissitude and flourished however our constitution did not make democracy in local self government a constitutional obligation and so democracy in the panchayats and nagar palikas has withered at the roots with these two bills we shall ensure that the democracy at the grass root lives no longer will democracy in local self government be a passing political past time through these bills democracy in local self government becomes a solemn constitutional obligation an obligation that can neither be outcasted nor floated for reasons of expediency or indifference we wanted to come to this house only after consulting all the chief ministers tragically but in keeping with their position to avoid democratic discussions all but two of the non congress chief ministers stayed away from the discussions many of them refused to let the elected representatives of their parties participate in the nagar palika sammelans and i believe one of them has dismissed some of those who participated in those discussions they denied permissions to their municipal officers to attend the conference of municipal officers called by the ministry of urban development we have done our best we have done all we can to involve them in a nationwide debate they say there must be consensus before the constitution is amended but refuse to come for a discussion how can a consensus be forged without dialogue their non cooperation not with standing we come to parliament at the end of the widest and most intensive series of consultations undertaken in the history of independent india i have personally interacted with over 25000 knowledgeable and experienced person most of whom are elected representatives of the people before coming to this house with the panchayati raj and nagar palika bills times out of number we have stressed 
that this is not a center state issue why should the constitutional enshrinement of democracy in the panchayats be a bone of contention between the center and the states why should reservations for the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes and women be a matter of confrontation between the center and the state stop